And this is about some people who were considered the early pioneers in diversity, uh, people who came here who persevered, who didn't just come in and say maybe there were some issues that, that would many people would have said, well, I'm out of here, I'm leaving. And, uh, but they chose not to. Well, it started because when, you know, we, we started off living in student, the ASU had a, a series of uh, trailers, and we were living there as graduate students, but once he got the position on campus uh, as a teacher, uh, he could no longer live in the student housing. At that time, uh, Calvin had not finished his uh, PhD and all of the faculty members that lived over there already had a doctorate degree, and they did not like the idea of him being over there without a doctorate degree, and they protested that, but Dr. Ring, uh, rather than have us move to another part of the campus, he told us, just stay there, and he'd work it out, and I guess he did. When I came for the interview, I talked to all of the people in the administration, pre vice president, of student affairs, of, of academic affairs. But then they took me to Calvin. They said, we want you to meet somebody. And they took me to Calvin and left me just with Calvin. And they gave us an opportunity to just talk about, okay, Calvin, how is this experience gonna be for my family? And he was very candid about everything, uh, but encouraging to me. In those days, not like now, we didn't have any place to stay in Jonesboro except on Washington Street or over on the north side. ASU placed us at, on East College Circle and West College Circle. And uh, of course, as a result of that, we, we became bonded and, uh, and, and the circle, as we refer to ourselves, came out of that. We came to Arkansas State in 1973 as a result of a job offer from Dr. Clark Elkins. He had met Mosey at many conferences that they had attended to develop a friendship, and so he knew of a job that may be coming up, and so when Mosey finished his doctorate, he contacted him and offered him the job. Uh, we were not accepted in Jonesboro by the black community because we were considered outsiders, and we were not accepted totally in the, in the white community because we were African Americans, and so we were kind of on a little island, and that's where we found ourselves at first. So we were, we were the circle, we were the support group, we were to me, we were everything to one another in Jonesboro. Jonesboro is one of these towns, the longer you stay here, the more you get to like it. Jonesboro is a progressive town. We saw a lot of things we didn't like, but we also saw the improvements and the things we did like. We can uh, hold these folks high. Um, and really, is, is, um, I think as the old saying goes, you know, I think we stand tall today. Uh, we stand on their shoulders. That's why we're here. My daughters and I haven't discussed it, really ever thought it would amount to anything. To be honest with you, we were not expecting that kind of attention from any of this. It was just for us another day of life. Oh, I feel so honored. This is something I never in my life dreamed would happen. And my only regret is that Calvin is not here to see it. But he would be so proud. It was, it was a period when I think it was a wholesome experience where we we just cherished, and, and I don't know how things would have been if we had not been a circle. If we had not been there to support one another, I just don't know how we would have made it.